I have created a virtual machine running Ubuntu Linux version 20.04 that is pre-configured and pre-installed with many population genetics and ecological niche modeling programs. This tutorial is for Mac computers only. See the link in the show notes for Windows instructions. This tutorial assumes you already have the software UTM installed on your computer. See the notes below for a link on how to install UTM if you haven't already. I will show you how to download and plug my virtual machine into UTM so that you can start using it on your Mac computer and all of the pre-configured software. I am showing this process for Macs. See the link below for a video for this process for Windows. Now, if you are in my class, you will need to transfer the virtual machine from the USB drive that I gave you onto your Mac's desktop. Please note that in that case, you will not need to download the virtual machine or unzip it. So please make a note of that as you watch this tutorial. The first step is to open an internet browser and visit my website, joshbanta.com. Next, click on Tutorials. Scroll down until you see how to hook up and use my pre-configured Ubuntu Linux virtual machine on your Mac computer. Click File Needed for Tutorial. Be sure you have already installed the software UTM. If not, installation instructions are provided but don't go past 5 minutes and 37 seconds in the installation video. Next, download the virtual machine. There are two virtual machines to choose from, one that is pre-configured with software for evolutionary genetics, including population genetics, phylogenetics, and genomics. The other virtual machine is pre-configured for landscape ecology, geographic information systems, and species distribution modeling software. We will be downloading the virtual machine configured for evolutionary genetics. Select the link that says, if your host computer is a Mac, choose this download. Don't worry about the lack of a file preview. Click the download button in the top right corner. Click Download Anyway. The download is quite large and will take some time. This is a quick splice to ask you to consider subscribing to my channel by hitting the subscribe button. It does not cost anything. It is totally free. But if you like what I am doing and want to support my work, I encourage you to visit patreon.com slash joshbanta and make a voluntary contribution. The link is in the show notes below. Your support helps me to deliver new content and keep this channel current and vibrant. Thank you. When finished, open up Finder. Navigate to your Downloads folder and find the virtual machine that we just downloaded geneticsmaster.utm.zip. Double click on it. The virtual machine is in a compressed zip archive to make the file size smaller for downloading. Now we need to uncompress the virtual machine from the compressed zip archive in order to be it for, for it to be accessible for our use. When finished, you will see the file geneticsmaster.utm without the .zip extension. That's the uncompressed virtual machine that we can access. Drag that file from your downloads folder onto your desktop. Next, we need to open the UTM software. Navigate to your applications directory, find the UTM software, and double click on it. Select Create a New Virtual Machine. Under Existing, click Open. 
navigate to your desktop and select geneticsmaster.utm and click open. Next, hit the play button. When you reach the login screen, the username is sample. Click on it. Now type in the password. Stanley's famous.com 75702. The username and password are provided in the show notes below for your reference. Click enter. Next, we need to enable file sharing so that we can transfer files between the virtual machine and your Mac computer. To do that, open up a terminal window, which I have pinned to my favorites on the left, or which you can find by searching below. In the terminal window, type sudo space apt space install space spice dash VD agent space spice dash web D AVD and press enter. You will be prompt for the user password. You will not see password dots, so type slowly to ensure that you type the password correctly. Stanley's famous.com 75702. Press enter. When prompted, type Y and hit enter. When finished, you can close the terminal window. We need to reboot the machine. But to reboot the machine, we need to power it off and power it back on again is the way to do it when using UTM. To power it off, come to the drop-down menu in the top right-hand corner indicated by the inverted triangle. Select Power Off Logout. Select Power Off. And select Power Off once again. When finished, hit the play button to reopen the virtual machine again and to boot it up again. Log in as before. Open File Explorer, which I have pinned to my favorites on the left or which you can find by searching below. Select Other Locations. Select Spice Client Folder. And select Spice Client Folder once again. Spice Client Folder is the shared folder between your virtual machine and your Mac laptop. Please note that you will have to go through this process of opening up File Explorer, clicking on other locations, and selecting the Spice Client Folder every time you start your Ubuntu Linux machine and you want to share files. You should see it mounted over here when it is loaded correctly. To shut down your virtual machine when finished, return to the drop-down menu in the top right-hand corner indicated by the inverted triangle. Select Power Off Logout. Select Power Off. 
and select power off once again. When powered off, as indicated by the play button, close the virtual machine window. We need to set the directory on our Mac that is being shared with the virtual machine. Be sure that you have the UTM program open where it shows a screen such as the one you see on mine. Make sure that you have the virtual machine highlighted from the list of available virtual machines on the left. We need to increase the size of our screen so that we can see all of the choices. Come to the corner of the screen and click on it so that you see a double-headed arrow such as the one you see on mine. Regular click that where you have that double-headed arrow until you've increased the size of the screen so that you see this choice here that says shared directory. Click on browse. Choose the desktop or any other folder that you would prefer as the folder that you will share between your Mac computer and the virtual machine and select open. Your virtual machine is now ready.